Hey guys, how you doing? Time for lick number four. Yep. So um, lick number four is going to start actually with lick number three, and we're just going to add on to it to create lick number four. And well, let's get into it. I'll show you exactly what we're doing. So lick number three, as you remember, if you watched it, if not, check it out. Um, it starts off, well, let me play the lick. That's lick number three, right? Lick number four is this. Okay. Um, so as you can see, let me put the metronome on. That's lick number four, okay? We started with lick number three and work into these next parts. So like I said, lick number three, we're going to bend the third string at the seventh fret, it's a note D, and we're going to bend it a full step. So it has to sound like the note a full step away. So if the seventh fret is D, and we have to bend it a full step, well, it means it has to sound like E, or, you know, the note two frets higher. So, there we go. So remember, when we're doing the bends, place all three fingers on the same string, third, second, and first, right behind each other, and as close to the fret as possible without being on top of it. And you get should be able to get a nice clean bend. Um, we're going to bend that note full step, and then release that note. All right, it's not exactly the easiest thing to do in the beginning, so that's going to be one of your first goals. Just getting that to ring out. So the next note we're going to play is the fifth fret on the third string, G string, and then the seventh fret will be the last note on the D string. That's the note A. All right, so that's the first section. So the next section, we're gonna learn a new technique called rolling, okay? When you're rolling, you're basically using the same finger to go from one string to the next on the same fret. So if you see adjacent strings or strings right next to each other that are the same fret, well, probably want to learn to roll your finger to play both notes. So, that was the second section. Rolling from the 7 on the G string to the 7 on the D string. And then the 5 on the G string with the slight blues bend there. So... Nice. So that roll, the way to do it properly, you know, if you're rolling up towards you, it makes sense to fret the note on your, with the pad of your finger and roll up to the tip of your finger on the next string. Very simple. And the opposite, if you're rolling down, you start with the tip. to the pad and from there you want to be able to practice these with all your fingers I mean you're going to come into scenarios where you have to do it with your first finger second third and fourth but um let's just keep going with this lick this lick it's our third finger at the seventh fret G and D strings so all right and there's the third section Third section, Se separate this, practice this one too. This one involves a pull off. So we're gonna pull off seventh fret on the D string 
to the fifth fret on the D string. So when we do a pull off, you have to have both fingers already fretted. So when you actually pluck the string and pull your finger off, the other note that's fretted is going to ring out. Now that's basically the idea. And then we'll go right back to the seven on the fourth string and give it some vibrato. And that's the lick. So. Just like that. So I'm gonna try it to a metronome a couple times here. tug that you're hearing on the fifth fret is called a blues bend. It's a micro bend. Um, it's not even a half step. So I'm basically knocking the string a little out of tune and um, I'm kind of like hitting a note that's between the keys on the keyboard, if you will. You know, so it's not quite C, it's not quite C sharp. So just like that. And then mute it after you bend it a little bit. It gives it such a good tone and good quality. Sounds great. All right. So, you know, we can kind of work these into the other licks just as well. So. Basically everything we've learned up to this point. Lick one. Lick two. Lick three. And then lick four. So I want you guys to practice and work on all these licks and you know, as they come out and I keep putting out more videos, um, yeah, start working on improvising to different backing tracks. You know, it would be convenient to just do it in the fifth position because that's where we're doing it here and learning it. But um, yeah, if you're, you know, savvy enough to be able to change keys and stuff like that, then go for it. You know, transpose these licks to the key of whatever you want to play in. So. Yeah, that's it. Blues lick number four. Nice. Till next time. I'll see you guys. Peace.